Stella's always um, been a tomboy, so I don't think she ever associated herself as a princess. And I think she's convinced herself that that's not who she is. So... <laughs> I really like this one. Yeah, we love that one. When Joe picked up and showed the floral dress, I think that's the dress. That is the dress for you. Um, this is almost everything I said I didn't want, like a princessy froofy, but I love the ruffle. I just want to try it. Right, OK, you ready? I am. Come with me. <sighs> Have you seen this dress with print anywhere else? I'd seen one that was similar at a wedding fair um, and I went over and I was obviously very interested in it and the man spoke to me and I said, oh, I really like this dress and he looked me up and down and said, are you planning on losing some weight before the wedding? What? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Oh, my God, what did you say to him? I just kind of said yes. Oh, I can't believe that. What a... <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It makes you feel like you're not good enough. I presume he was implying that the dress didn't even come in my size, which makes you feel like you don't deserve it. And if you don't deserve the dress, then you don't deserve the wedding. OK, open your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's got personality and it's different and... Are you crying? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> I felt so proud to see her in her dress. I thought she looked beautiful. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I want this one. <laughs> oh, my God, hold on a minute. <laughs> Wow, what makes you know, without putting any more dresses on, this is the one for you? This feels like my dress. I felt amazing. I think it brightens me and, and brings out the personality that I have. It's the one. Do you want to see another one? I think that one is absolutely amazing, but I want you to be 100% sure. OK, we can do another one, but... I think it's this one. Having fallen in love with the print dress, Hannah has decided to try on her other favourite. I don't mind trying on another one, but I think this is a done deal. Right, let's do some ruffles. The ruffle dress is something that I would associate with, you know, something a skinny person would, would wear, and I don't feel like I would be able to pull it off even though I would want to. My weight is something that has bothered me my whole life. I've gotten to an age now where I've realised the problem isn't necessarily my weight, it's how I see myself. I think Hannah's always worried about the way she looks. She likes to hide, definitely hides under black clothing. I almost don't want to like it, so that the first one is the one. I wish Hannah would see the person that we see. Right, OK, stop and step up, that's it. Right, OK, open your eyes. Oh, you don't like it at all? Oh, no! I felt so bad because my first reaction was of the ruffles and not of my daughter's face. I like them both, but for totally different reasons. When I hang my arms down, there's a gap. There's a gap here. I mean, I just wanted the ground to swallow me up. Hannah loves this dress. The more I look at this, the more I can see what you like in it. I think you liked the other one, but you feel amazing in this one. I think you prefer that one. Oh, God. Her mum's trying to backtrack now. She done what any mum would do when they see their beautiful daughter feeling like a princess. I'm never a princess. Well, then maybe that's the day you are. One dress was almost who I am and one dress was almost who I wanted to be. Oh right, now this is what turns you from a girl in a wedding dress into a bride. Now what do you see? 
No, I want it. I want the thing that I thought I couldn't have. I want the big white dress and the veil and the sparkle yes. and all, everything that I thought that I couldn't have, so I didn't want. I can have it. Yeah, you can. And I do want it. Yeah, you can. She's got herself a dress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, come, come, come. Share some love. Oh. You can be whatever you want to be. The only limitations there are are the ones you put there. It's been a week since Hannah chose her dress, but today she's back in Essex with Mum Alison. Right then, this is starting to look a bit more familiar. It is. It's been a bit of a roller coaster week with have I done the right thing? Will I do it? And I said, well, we'll just have another appointment and just be sure. Hi, Hannah. Hello. Nice to see you again. Yes, you too. I definitely have a plan. I'm going to try on the one that I originally chose and then I'm going to end with the floral one. I think trying them on in a different order is going to be a good idea for me. It was giving me a bit of anxiety because I wanted to be so sure about my decision. I have to know, so... Right, OK. Joe's with your mum. Yeah. I think let's not waste any more time. Let's get out there. Yes. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, no. I'm I don't like it as much now. It's beautiful, but it's almost not how I remember it. I think she may have made a mistake the first time. I think she got a bit distracted. And so did I. It's not this one. OK. OK. Let's do another. Oh, my God. Hannah is running out of time very, very quickly. So the next dress. This dress was everything to Hannah when she first came. Some fool at a wedding fair told her she couldn't have it because she would need to lose weight. Oh, really? I want her to put this dress on and fall in love with it like she did the first time. Moment of truth. <sighs> Open your eyes. It's beautiful. It really is. It really is gorgeous. Yeah, no, we're back where we started, but I like this one the best. The man who'd spoken to her at the wedding fair had put her off the idea that she could have the dress of her dreams, but it was actually the dress she really wanted and the dress she wanted all along. I love this. She looks absolutely stunning. Oh, hallelujah, sister. <laughs> we started with this dress and we finished with this dress. <laughs> I feel like I won. 